any case, there's been a bit of a catastrophe in Texas. And if you have a church, you have a resource. And if you have that resource, you should use it to help the people of Texas who are currently shivering in the dark because they've learned the hard way that all the machine guns in the world will not protect you against a northern blizzard. Yeah. And they just weren't prepared. When the apocalypse came, it wasn't an invading horde that they could shoot. It was a blizzard. And it wasn't even that severe of a blizzard because well, I live in Canada. We have real blizzards up here, which make what happened in Texas look like, well, that's just, that's a normal day in February. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All the machine guns in the world and not a single snow shovel between you. What a shame. And it is a shame. But I digress. If you have a church, use that church to help the people of Texas. Provide them with mittens, woolly socks, sweaters, sleeping bags. Oh, and uh, you can do the same thing for the homeless in your own area. Provide them with the same basic necessities. Because that's what Christianity is for. Christianity isn't for indoctrinating children into believing in a young earth. It's for rendering service within your community. And that's something that I find that young earthers have forgotten how to do, is how to render service within their community. You need to learn to do that. Render service in your community. The people of Texas are counting on you. 